Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? Oh, well, I'm a little ill. I'm not feeling good, to be honest, but I'm here. <laughs> really? I'm doing my best. Uh, I am sorry to hear that, but are you taking medicine or something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yesterday I bought some uh, pills. So this uh, is, yeah, I think it's a good uh, result, but I don't know. Well, just need just need to rest. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well, I hope you get better soon. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. The good thing is that tomorrow you will have day off. Yeah, yeah. I I wonder why I not uh, feel bad tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your uh, body inter your, instead your of, body of, of yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your body couldn't wait until tomorrow. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, but yeah, I hope to get better soon. Um, today is a special day. Uh, really? Why? <laughs> it is a very special day. So I'm just waiting for everyone to join us so they can enjoy this special day too. Oh, so. That's nice. <laughs> Good morning, Paola. How are you? Good morning, teacher. I'm great. I'm doing the answer because I I just have one, two, three questions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you can prepare more, please. <laughs> but are you do you feel ready? Yes? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> I have to be honest and with the question, it's not my problem. My, my problem is the answers. The, the answer, because I, I don't know. I don't know how to respond if I have a specific grammar or or I, I, I'm not sure about that. All right. I understand. Well, uh, don't complicate too much. <clears throat> my uh, I don't know, my, my friendly recommendation for you guys is active listening, of course, so you can understand the question, but then keep it simple but coherent. Sometimes uh, we are trying to say so much, okay? It's like there are so many ideas, so many words that I want to say, but keep it simple, okay? Uh, don't complicate too much because that is going to affect. If you don't find the words, hmm, Keep it simple. Look for another synonym and continue. Okay? And uh, let's see, let's see what else I was about to say something and I forgot. But anyway, all right. Hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, good morning. I'm great. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. You ready for the exam? I think so. <laughs> all right. Very good. And I can see Michelle. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Pretty fine, pretty fine. Here, um, ready, I think. <laughs> Excellent. That's the attitude. Very good. So, everyone, let's start. Just a reminder uh, if you remember yesterday, they sent a message informing tomorrow is day off. Okay, so tomorrow we are not going to have classes okay and uh, remember that if we cannot pass today i mean if we don't finish we are going to continue until monday okay <laughs> and so we'll be celebrating guys i know that you feel sad because we are not going to have classes but don't worry we are going to continue on monday <laughs> yeah, it's hard to move <laughs> all right so let's start it. Uh, I'm going to share with you the rubric that I'm going to use. Remember guys that this evaluation is basically very similar to the ones that we had in the previous course, okay? Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is July 6th, okay? And we uh, we are going to finish on Monday, okay? Uh, remember, tomorrow, no classes. So basically, the speaking evaluation will be divided in two days. Today, Thursday, and Monday, 10th, 
the ones that cannot pass today are going to pass on Monday, okay? Now, uh, the rubric that I'm going to use, uh, first of all, remember what I'm going to ask about. You need to ask different type of questions. First of all, I want you to use questions with infinitive and gerunds, okay? I want to listen the correct use of the verbs. If it is a verb with infinitive, okay, do it. If it is a verb that needs to be followed by gerunds, do it. Remember that these questions, guys, can be used in the grammar tense that you prefer. If you want to ask in future, do it. In present or past, I mean, no problem. You can use the grammar tense that you prefer. Um, I need you guys to ask questions in third conditional. And I want you to ask some questions with past models. The past models that I want you to use is should have, could have, or would have. That's all, okay? Uh, please, as I mentioned before, try not to ask so personal questions. I mean, private topics, because remember that those topics could be some uncomfortable for some people. I mean, for example, some people ask, and I've seen this in previous evaluations, people ask about relationships and things like that. So try not to ask so personal or deep questions, okay? That could be a little bit uncomfortable for some people. Um, remember, we are going to evaluate reported speech, okay? So when your classmate answer, I can ask you, what did he say? or what did she say? And I'm expecting you report it with the reported speech, okay? Every pair, if you remember, you will have five minutes for this interview. Um, everybody has to answer, everybody has to ask. So give your classmate the chance to ask. Uh, you can ask one and one. For example, if Paola is working with uh, Saul, Saul asks a question, Paola answer. Then Paola asks the next question, okay? So one and one. And the rubric is over here. I'm going to do it bigger. The rubric that I'm going to use is the following. I'm going to evaluate comprehension, of course. If you are able to understand the question your classmate is asking for. Don't be afraid to ask for a repetition. If you didn't listen, if you didn't understand at the first time, you can ask, can you repeat again? And that is not going to affect your score in comprehension. Comprehension will be affected if you are asking for repetition like in every single question, or you ask for a repetition like three times in the same question, or if you answer um, a question that you didn't understand and you give an answer that it's out of the topic, okay? Uh, fluency, remember guys, fluency, I don't want to listen to so many hesitations, so many pauses, okay? If you don't know the answer, if you don't remember or something, or if you need time to think, say it. Uh, that's a good question. Let me think. Uh, well, I consider, and you can use those phrases to fill the gaps, okay? Grammar, of course, all the structures related with grammar. Uh, vocabulary, guys, I'm expecting you use um, all the structures that we studied. If someone is asking you a question with past models, I'm expecting you use past models, okay? I'm expecting in vocabulary that you provide a lot of details, that you talk a lot, and of course that you don't say anything in Spanish. In vocabulary also, guys, I'm going to evaluate the correct use of the verbs because I expect that you practice and study the verbs in infinitive, in gerund, and also in the past participle form. In pronunciation, you know everything related to pronunciation. So especially guys, I'm going to pay a lot of attention with the pronunciation of the regular verbs ending in ed that I consider that 
is the topic that is affecting to most of you. If I have comments, you know that I'm going to write it over here and you will be able to see it. This is the rubric. Do you have any questions so far? Yes, no? Is it clear? Yes. Perfect, okay. So uh, we can do it randomly or we can do it uh, with volunteers. So which one do you prefer? Do you want to be volunteers or do you want me to pick someone? Okay, I got Paola. Paola, you want to be the first one? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, I have Paola and I have David. Perfect. Okay, guys, just let me write your names. Let's see, give me a second. So guys, I'm going to set a timer. Remember, you will have five minutes. The rest of you, please keep the microphones off to avoid interferences. If you have questions, let's wait for them to finish. Okay, Paola and Saul, welcome to your last speaking evaluation. You can start, go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> well, um, David, right? David is, is my partner, nice. Uh, well, David, my first question is, will you go to see any final tournament of the no, I won't go because uh, I don't like those kind of sports. Oh, you do like it. <laughs> okay, no. sorry, Paola, what did he say? He said that he didn't like the Juego Centroamericano. Mm, okay, very good. <laughs> nice, go ahead, David. Okay, have you ever not remember calling someone? Could you repeat this? Have you ever not remember calling someone? Have you ever called? Mm, let me... No, I'm... Wait. No, I'm sorry. Uh, could you repeat again the question? I didn't get it. Okay. Have you ever not remember calling someone? Ah, oh, get it. Uh, right now, I no. Maybe I don't remember that I have to call someone. I think it's everything okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, my next question is, do you enjoy going shopping? Um, okay. Yes. David, what did she say? What did she ask? Um, she asked me if I enjoy go shopping. Oh, okay. Um, well, well, actually, um, I enjoy go shopping, but I don't enjoy the, the part of the shopping where you have to pay. <laughs> Maybe everyone. Okay, nice. Uh, your question? Okay. Um, what is something that is hard for you to remember doing? Mm, what is something that is hard to me? Let me think. Why is something? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I think the, um, the most common answer is waking up early, but sometimes uh, I, I feel manage the stress. It's difficult to me. Okay. Uh, nice. Um, my third question is, 
Is there something you could have done yesterday? Um, yes, probably I could have uh, uh, get to sleep earlier. Wait, sorry. Um, I, I could. Yeah. I could have uh, got to sleep earlier. Oh, <laughs> okay, got it. Your your question, David? Um. Uh, what is something you don't mind doing during the day? Mm, what is something you don't mind doing the day? Um, let me think, let me think. Well, mm, 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 mm. well, during the day, maybe I don't mind doing exercise because I honestly, I prefer doing the doing uh, do it during the day and not do it at night because at night I I am too tired, so I prefer to do it in the in the morning. And yes, yeah, I think that that's all. Okay. Um, ah, well, no. uh, it's it's my my turn. Um, my question is: When you were, uh, sorry, when you were at school, do you like to study a lot? Yes, uh, I like to study a lot, um, but um, I think that that's something that I could change. I would like to change. Okay, <laughs> maybe you you were a smart child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, actually, time's I up. <laughs> oh, I... Ah, you see, you wanted to continue talking. Maybe we should <laughs> we should change a and talk for 10 minutes. All right. So, oh my <laughs> okay, guys, you can relax. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Okay. I, I just need to, David, please, can you repeat the questions where you were asking if you find something difficult, remember doing something like that? Can you repeat it? I didn't write it. I'm sorry. Um... What is something that is hard for you to remember doing during uh, the day? Okay, that is hard. That is hard to remember doing, right? Yes, it's hard for you to remember doing. Perfect. Yes, thank you. That's that's what I needed. Okay, so easy or difficult, guys? How did you feel the exam? I think some questions of David was were difficult, <laughs> or what, what? Not difficult, but too long. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I I think it's it's for the structure of the third condition of. <laughs> okay, pretty good. But so far so good, guys. You're doing great. No worries. Um. Okay. Do I need? I need more volunteers. Who wants to continue? Paul and David already did it. So who wants to try? Okay, I have Fernando. Thank you, Fernando. And <laughs> come on, guys. If you pass today, I mean, you can go to the weekend, like a little bit relaxed, you know? Thank you, Walter. Very good. Okay, guys, just give me a second. I'm going to write your names. So we got Fernando Ventura. All right. And I have Walter Marroquin. All right. Okay, guys. Remember the kind of questions that I need. Paola and David were asking about the verbs using 
infinitives using gerund. That's great. Don't forget, everyone, their conditional past models. Do it. Okay, Fernando, Walter, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, do you want to go first, Fernando, or I ask first? Uh, okay, good. First question. If you had won the lottery, what would you have done with the money? Uh, um, I would have invest, uh, invest the money because I don't want to, to be bored the next week if I spend everything <laughs> at once. Hey, that's great. That's a great answer. Yes. Um, my question for you is, um, do you enjoy, enjoy watching movies in your free time? OK, Walter, what did he ask? He asked me if I enjoyed uh, what movies. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, yes, I enjoy watch movies. In fact, I recently watched uh, Young Week, the fourth. Well, yes, I, <laughs> yes, I watched uh, the cinema, and yeah, it was really great movie. Okay, Fernando, what did he say? Uh, he said that uh, he enjoyed uh, watching movies. And also, he added that uh, the last movie that he um, he watched is John Wick Four, uh, uh, John Wick Chapter, chapter Four, <laughs> and that it was a very good movie. Okay, continue, please. Very good. Uh, okay, the next question: Have you ever tried to learn a musical instrument? Uh, sorry, I knew what. And you, uh, have you ever tried to learn a musical instrument? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> um, I tried to, to learn to play guitar. Um, I, I learned a few chords and uh, scales. But <laughs> that was not my cup of coffee. Um, uh, I, I, I struggle learn, learning. Maybe I don't have the talent for, for that. Or I just need more time to, to, to release the, the, the guitar. Um, yes, yes. Um, my, my, my next question for you is, is it difficult for you to wake up early in the morning? Oof, okay. Uh, I think that's an easy question. It's really easy for me to wake up uh, early in the morning. In fact, I am I am used to uh, wake up earlier than I do right now. Uh, usually, a few years ago, I wake up about five or four, no, about 4 a.m. in order to go to the university. So I, I am used to wake up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, my next question is, are you planning to visit any new countries this, this year? Um, well, not this year, but uh, the next year, um, <clears throat> I'm planning to to visit Guatemala or or Honduras, um, but I haven't decided yet. <laughs> um, my next question is: uh, Let me think. How could have your life? turn out differently if you had pursued a different career path? Uh, sorry, could you repeat the question? I didn't hear you well. 
how uh, how could have your life turned out differently if you had pursued a different career path? Okay, I think my life could have been different. Uh, I study system engineer, but I would like, I think I would have liked to study maybe medicine or mechanic. I don't sure what other career I would have taken. But yeah, it would be really different because uh, probably I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to work in tech industry. Maybe another, another area. I don't know how, how I would be what I would be working. Yes, I never talked about it. <laughs> yes, that, that's a very tough question. Uh, because... Time's up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good. You see, you are talking a lot. A very nice job. All right, guys. Excellent. I like it. So, third conditional, guys. Good questions and very interesting question. I'm listening to. Very nice job. So, who wants to continue? Uh, what to try? Excellent. Okay, I have Saul. Very good. Who else? Only just to uh, because I have a sore throat and something I got to cut off the microphone. Okay, uh, guys, I need someone else, please. Ah, come on, if I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick someone. So. Who's missing? Is missing Michelle? Is missing Rocio? Arismendi? Who else? Is missing Rafael? Is missing Alberto? So, guys, quickly, I need someone. Don't be afraid to pass. Michelle, do you want to continue? Okay, let's do it. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay, guys, your five minutes starts. Now, go ahead. Great. Good. Uh, so, Michelle, what is your favorite video game? Is you like that? Okay, Michelle, what did he ask? Uh, yes, he asked me what, what my favorite video game was. Okay. Uh, and I think that that's a little difficult because uh, I didn't play video games, but I know, for example, Harry Potter for PlayStation One. So I can. Okay, Saul, what did she say? Uh, she, um, she said that she uh, liked to play Harry Potter on this one. Okay, very good. Okay, great. Um, since last week I have some troubles to sleep and rest, um, what is something you recommend doing for avoiding this situation? Oh, very good question. Well, the first of all is get out of your room and try to do something because if you are still in your room and you can sleep, you never uh, uh, will feel uh, or <coughs> you never will, will feel uh, tired. So the first thing to have to do is wake up, go, for example, to, uh, to the living room and take a book and read uh, at least uh, two or one um, uh, episodes and that's it. And that's it. It's very useful because I, I, I did it that uh, all the time. Okay, well, thanks for your recommendation. Yeah. Your turn. Oh, yes, um, my next question is, uh, where is to your favorite? No, no, no sorry, no, maybe not. Uh, what is the best uh, brand for uh, for the smartphone for you? What is the best? Sorry, I didn't get the some yes, word. The the best brand on of a smartphone for mm, you. Okay. Uh, personally, I think the best brand 
is i is iphone i have i have one and i uh, i think it's the best because the level of security it's it's very good so you have some special apps for that and all that kind of things and and also for I, I have the opportunity to work with some iOS developers, so they teach me something about that. So I think that is one of the reasons for uh, iOS. Probably. IOS is, it's, it's the best. Probably, but it's expensive. And for me, for me to be honest, it's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't have, you, if, if you want an iPhone, you can have, uh, you don't have, to have the latest, the latest version. Maybe you can try first with the, I don't know, maybe with an iPhone 8. At this moment, we have an iPhone 14. So you can try it and try to um, have that experience with iPhone. Toby, don't convince me about that. Yes, I think <laughs> okay. <that is> true. <laughs> Thanks. Well, what's your next question? Okay, yeah. Um, tomorrow is holiday. What have you decided to do? Um, for, for tomorrow? Yeah. Oof, another very good question. I, I planning to, to visit uh, my room and sleep all today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, great. Yeah, and after that, probably I will watch uh, any uh, any movie. Uh, mm. For example, uh, I don't know, Batman, Superman. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, some kind of movie. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, perfect. Nice. All right. And the next question is. Okay, let's so, move on to the third conditional or past model uh, questions, please. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Uh, well, Maybe I can, I can try. Okay, please. Okay, imagine a place you want to know, or maybe something you really want to buy. Um, and if you if you could try and travel in in time um, and go back a year ago, what could you done if you had a second chance for saving money? For saving money, uh huh. Maybe I could do um, and think about it. Um, uh, I could have to to save uh, money and not to <clears throat> and not to spend my money um in necessary things like uh for example, uh stop to to visit uh junk food. To, to, uh, stop mm -hmm. to buy junk food and try to only really really. Uh, do a list when I go to to shopping to to tomorrow and I don't know and try to on, only buy the the necessary. Uh, I think we do that. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, your last question, Saul, in third conditional, please, or past models for Michelle. Past past model. Ask her. <laughs> Sorry, I was a mute. Uh, what's something you should? What's something you should to do to um uh, to be a very good employee? Ooh. Okay. Um, I should have. Mm, I should have. I should have made. I should have studied more about strategic and maybe uh, data analytics for 
for try to build some dashboard and all that kind of things for my area. I think Great. I should have started more, yeah. All right, time's <laughs> up guys, that's all. Oof. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, easy or difficult? How do you feel? A lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, I feel that pressure too. <laughs> All right. But you are doing great. Excellent. Remember, guys, the secret active listening. If you pay attention to your classmates, you will understand. So it will be easier for you to answer the question. Nice job. Very good. Okay. So let's continue. Um, who's missing? Is missing Aris Mandy? Is missing Rocio? Is missing Alberto? So who wants to try? Um, Me. Aris Mandy, thank you. Very good. Who's next? I need another volunteer. I think that Salvador is missing too. So guys, who wants to try? Don't fight for it. Only one volunteer, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are thinking in your day off, everyone. Hmm. If I don't have volunteer, I will ask to continue tomorrow so we can have classes tomorrow. Okay, Rocio, Salvador, Alberto, who wants to try? If not, I'm going to pick someone. Oh my goodness. Rocio, do you want to try? Uh, I would like to try, but I'm not ready with all the questions. For the reason I know we are volunteer, but I can try it. But Is your I know. <laughs> Okay, let, let's see, ready. let's see, let's see if your classmates are ready and then you can try, no worries. Okay. Okay, Salvador, are you ready? Yeah, in fact, I, I'm finishing my, my last question, so <laughs> that's why I, I wasn't a volunteer too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ay, Salvador, what I'm going to do with you, my goodness. <laughs> okay, but I but think better... I, I'm, I have the, the, the enough questions <laughs> to, to, to start. Better late than never, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, everyone, your five minutes starts now. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Iris, Mandy, do you want to start or, or am I? No, if you want. I, I don't okay. know. Okay. The same. I can start. Okay. Well, if you were a millionaire, where would you go on the weekend? On I... I will have done, uh, I will have traveled around the world because it's the best thing that we have. And we remember all the, the stories, all the anecdotes that we did the, in, the, in the trip, I think. But do you have a, a, favorite place, a favorite place to go? Or, okay, Aris Mendy, what did he ask? He asked me is what is the place that I prefer to travel. Okay. Um, I think um, can be Netherlands. I mentioned that in the last course. <laughs> um, or, or I don't know, can be Amsterdam. I like that those places. Nice. Okay. Um, my question is, what do you like playing in your free time? Oh, tough one because uh, when I have free time, I play um, football. Puppy football. Okay. <laughs> In fact, every every Monday. So I, I I really like make that 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 sport. And sometimes I play um uh, basketball with uh, some friends. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Well, my second question 
is what is something that you should have to do in other country? I should have visited the, the most uh, famous places in the countries, um, like church, museums, um, uh, I don't know, parks, so, something like that. Mm, cool. Okay. In my case, <laughs> I try to visit all the pubs or the, the favorite <laughs> pubs of, the, of that country, but it's fine. <laughs> That's fine, yes. <laughs> yeah. More, more, uh, party, party. Yeah. Really like the, <laughs> the party. Um, but then my next question is, what would you have done if you had had the opportunity to sail on the Ocean Gate submarine? Well, <laughs> I probably uh, I won't I won't do that. If I have the probably I won't I won't do that. But <laughs> because it's too too dangerous for, for me, or yeah. or it's scary. In fact, so I won't do that. Obviously. <laughs> Before, Even if you had the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it's, it's, it's a scary situation. Or yeah. it's, it's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. It's quite an extreme <laughs> adventure, yes. <laughs> Maybe it's not the best answer, but <laughs> I really don't. Uh, well, <laughs> my third question. What do you have to do in your vacations? Um, can you repeat, please? What do you have to do in your vacations? I you, will, do you have any plan? I will have to do um, a trip with my family, maybe a taco, because I, I, I like the weather in this place. Where? Okay, Salvador, what did he say? A taco. Ah, taco, okay. Uh, as Mandy said, that he probably were, uh, went to a taco because uh, he and his family uh, uh, loves that place and the weather. Okay, pretty good. Thanks. Nice. One okay. more question. One more is. What is something you always intend to do, but never found the time or money? <laughs> it's curious. <laughs> the thing I, I even tried to do, do the last, I don't know, three weekends <laughs> is going to, to, to shop plants because I'm that kind of guy that loves the plants and, and makes some, some something in, in, in his backyard but I never had the time <laughs> to make it possible so that so, that could be my, my, my best question my, my best answer time's okay. up all right Thank it's you. over <laughs> you see very good okay I like the attitude these guys sounded very happy right I mean <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so puppy football, what's that? Is is just with the older guys? Yeah, <laughs> when you play football, because, uh, but you have more than turn thirty three years old, or or you can play with people pretty old. <laughs> oh, okay, but but thirty three is already old. Oh my god! No, thirty three is a start age, but you ah, can play with with. Um, Sometimes I play with people with ñores. <laughs> what is the maximum of the age? Mm. Oh, the senior Almost guys. 70. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh my God. They play a few minutes, but <laughs> they um, play. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. So when to continue? <laughs> when your knee starts to crack. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's continue. We have time for someone else. So, Alberto, are you ready? Yes, I can do it. Excellent. And uh, I think, Rocio, you are the only one who's missing, if I'm not wrong. Okay, I will be trying. All it's right. Okay. Very good. Just let me write your name, guys. So we have, um, give me a second, Alberto Velasquez. Okay. And I have Rocio too. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. So, guys, your five minutes starts now. Go. Okay, uh, I will start. If you hadn't started learning English, which language would you have chosen? Mm, probably I will learn Italian because I had um, a sister in Italy and well, my my nieces uh, didn't speak Spanish, so to speak with them, I would love to learn Italian. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, That's my me. turn. Um, what new skill are you planning to improve to become more proficient uh, at Plaudo? And how do you see yourself integrating them into your daily tasks? Okay. Um, for now, I planning uh, maybe learn more about Java because I am a Java developer. So I would like to I would like to uh, to to start a certification. But first, I want to finish my thesis. So then I would like to start with the certification and maybe try to dedicate at least one hour or five hours a, 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 a week to, 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 to study. Okay, that's great. Okay. Um, what's something that you shouldn't have eaten that uh, you think that feel well for you or feel sick for you? Mm, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the the last part of the oh, okay. question. Was, okay, what's something that you sh that you shouldn't have eaten that you think that maybe you feel sick or feel bad with that? Well, that's an easy one because yesterday <laughs> I I I ate uh, pizza, and well, I love pizza, but I shouldn't eat it because. Uh, when I eat it, uh, maybe because of the, that's a, a greasy uh, food, it made a lot of uh, struggles in my stomach. So <laughs> I shouldn't uh, eat, eat pizza. Okay. Yeah. I did. <laughs> okay. Um, if you had the opportunity to alter one of your past decisions, at at school, well, would it be, and why would it you choose do you choose it? Oh, mm, really, I didn't. I don't. I wouldn't like to change anything. I really like the things that I did in the school. So I, I, um. I have changed anything. I have I haven't changed anything. I have I haven't I have changed anything about my school. Okay, guys, okay. you can move to the questions uh, in the out of the conditionals. You can ask questions for the gerunds or infinitive verbs using simple present, past, or future. Okay. Um. Okay, it's my turn, right? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't worry. 
Oh, if you you can start, Albert, with the journal, please. And I, maybe I think one. Yeah, please. Okay, don't worry. <clears throat> um, about journals. Journal or you? infinity? Okay. How are how are you? currently handling your project deadlines and communicating with your with your stakeholder at your project. Okay, Rocio, Why, what did he say? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you can uh, you can repeat the question because you don't understand you. Okay. Uh, how are you currently handling your project deadline with your stakeholder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Alberto, ah, <laughs> Alberto asked me uh, how I, how I, how I was managed the deadlines with the stakeholders. Mm, okay. And, uh, now the deadlines I was managing. Uh, they tell me the deadlines in uh, email or communicate with me in the Teams, and uh, and we have to follow up because we have uh, deploys every two weeks, so we need to be very strict with the time to to give our work. So. Um, uh, my question is, uh, how do you manage your time uh, to planning your day? Okay, what did she ask? Uh, she asked me if um, I have uh, framework or or some way that I use to manage my time. Okay. And well, usually I, I just, I, I take a moment in the morning, early in the moment. Uh, someday, uh, well, always with a coffee <laughs> to, to plan my day and to schedule some meetings and, and um, Close some some or, or to select uh, the tasks that I had to close during the day. So that's the way that I manage my time. Okay. Time's up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you guys relax. It's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sophia. Is anyone missing over here? Yes. No. I think that everybody did it right. Okay, remember, tomorrow we don't have classes. I just want to clarify that. Now, guys, let's talk about the exam. Is it easy or difficult? What do you think? I feel a little difficult, but because I don't feel ready. <laughs> but it's okay. Ah, it was like, I, like a surprise. <laughs> For me, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, expect that question. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, listen to me, guys. It was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, even when you were nervous, you were sounded like confident. So that's great. You were trying to provide details. And that is great, too. What I could observe in almost everyone, um, I could see that you are not answering following the correct structure. Remember that if the person is asking you um, using past models, how do we need to answer? Can I answer in present or in future? No, in past too. Exactly, in the same structure. Imagine mm -hmm. if I ask you like, hey guys, what would, what, um, I want to take one of the questions that I heard. Um, 
I, I cannot find the ones that I wanted to ask. Well, but the question, it was something like, what would you have done? Something like that, okay? So how can I answer? Can I say, no, I won't. Can I say that? No. No, really, so right? So that is maybe the biggest observation, okay? Remember that I'm evaluating specifically that structure. So um, what would you have done differently? Ah, the correct answer could be, I would have done, ta, 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 or I could have, or I should have, depending on the type of question, but I'm not listening to that structure in the answer, okay? Sometimes in the answer, you are using just, yes, I would go, for example, mm. but remember that this is not past model. This is not third conditional, okay? So the correct one must be, ah, I would have gone, all right? And that happens specifically in different conversations when you were asking with past models. Okay, so be careful. Be careful with the structures because I was listening some questions like specifically the ones in simple present or in future. I've heard questions without the auxiliary. It is like, uh, you have to visit, for example, you have to visit your family. So is this a correct question? It is missing something. What do you think? Do you have? Ah, very good. So don't forget the auxiliary. Okay, so do you have to visit? Or sometimes, so basically we are asking questions in affirmative sentences. So just be careful with the structure. Okay, that is like, one of the biggest observations that I could see. Let's follow the correct structure, guys. If somebody is asking you in third conditional, let's answer with the third conditional, okay? Now, with the reported speech, that was something curious too. Remember that in the reported speech, guys, we change the grammar tense. So if the person says, Ah, I like uh, listening to music, for example. Can I say, ah, she says she likes to listen to music. Yes or no? No. <clears throat> no, right? So I was trying to listen to the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Like, ah, she said she liked. Ah, he said he watched. I was trying to listen to the ending sound, but in some scenarios, guys, I listen to the verb always in simple present. Remember to switch, okay? Um, for the ones who reported the questions, you did it great. Actually, in the reported questions, it was pretty good. I liked it. So practice the topics, please, okay? Um, because I could see that we have some issues specifically with the third conditional at the moment of answering, not at the moment to ask. I think that the problem is when we answer, we are not following the correct structure with the past models, okay? Be careful with that and practice the structure for the reported speech. Now, with the um, gerunds and infinitives, we need to continue practicing that topic too. Okay, some of you are doing very well with that topic. And here is where I can identify the ones who were in the class and the ones who didn't. I know that you are busy, you have a lot of things to do, but being in the class, guys, helped you a lot. Okay, so try to keep in mind that. Now we don't have more time, everyone. 
uh, we are going to continue on Monday, okay? I don't know how many people will connect on Monday, the ones that are missing, but I expect that all of the ones who connect today, I want to see you on Monday too, okay? So, because if you okay. have a lower score today, maybe on Monday, I can give you the chance to practice again and you can have extra credits just in case that you need it, okay? Any questions before leaving? No. No questions? All right, everybody, don't forget to work on the platform. Remember that this week, we need to have 100% done on the Jesus. platform. Jesus. <laughs> Yes, Salvador, so you have to run in everything. All right. <laughs> Enjoy your free day uh, tomorrow and have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Thank See you. Monday. See you. See you. Goodbye.